Hi, welcome to the madcenter.com. Uh, in this video, we are going to look at a very recent exam question. Uh, it appeared on the May, June 2020 exam paper, uh, 9709-61. So it's paper 6, yeah? And 6.1 uh, is the version. And this is question number 6, yeah? Okay, uh, we'll go through the question in a minute. Um, the question that I've written on the board here, you may want to get a, uh, you may want to look up the question on the internet, on the website, on the Cambridge website. Uh, I have just paraphrased the question. The important things are on the board. So before anything else, right, I, my dog is here. Okay, my Rottweiler is here with me in the room and he tends to breathe a bit loudly. So please bear with us. Yeah, He likes to be with us all the time. So he's here in my room. Uh, okay, so now that we know that, in case you hear any snores, it's him. Okay. Uh, the other thing is, uh, please give this video a like and share as much as you can. And please follow me on uh, Facebook and YouTube. Uh, this series of videos will continue for the next few weeks. Uh, I'll probably do some on further maths and uh, I'll probably do some on pure maths and mechanics and all over the next few weeks, yeah, building up towards the exams. Okay, so like I said, this is more recent, May, June 2020, uh, question number six on paper 619709. Okay, enough of all those things. Before that, I hope you guys are all doing well, okay, and uh, as we gear up towards the exams, let's keep going at it, yeah? Okay, this question is given uh, the probability density function, yeah? The probability density function for t is given to us. Uh, t is the random variable. They, uh, it represents the uh, waiting time in minutes for a bus. I repeat, you can look up the details on the actual question paper, which is available on the uh, Cambridge website. So again, uh, this is PDF from probability density function for t. Yeah? Uh, the random variable representing the waiting time uh, in minutes for a bus. Okay, that's the first thing. So this PDF is given here, f of t equals to 3 over 4,000, uh, 20t minus t squared. And also keep an eye on the values of t for which this uh, PDF is valid, uh, t between 0 and 20. Okay, that's that's the what we call in, in when we study functions, we call it the domain. Yeah. So this function is valid for values of t between 0 and 20. Okay. <clears throat> um, what's the question? They ask you in part A to sketch the graph of y equals to f of t. <clears throat> no, excuse me. One look at the question, you know it is a quadratic function. Okay, 3 over 4,000, 20t minus t squared. Okay, one look at this, you know it's a quadratic function. And you look at the coefficient of t squared, it's negative. So you know it's going to be something like this, yeah? a quadratic curve with a maximum point uh, with a maximum point so let's sketch it okay let's sketch it so when t is zero when t is zero f of t is zero so it passes through the origin and from your density function you can see it's three over four thousand okay and if you take out one t you'll get 20 minus t so it cuts the t axis at zero and 20. So your curve will be, let me just get that again. Okay. So this is f of t against t. So a few things. One, before we leave this, yeah. One, you recognize that it's a quadratic curve. Two, make sure it passes through the origin. And don't extend the curve beyond 20. Okay, because they tell you very clearly t is what uh, t lies between 0 and 20. So this is it, yeah? And this is your answer to part A, yeah? Uh, you asked to explain in part B why the expected value of t is 10. Okay, why is the expected value of t 10? That's because see from this picture here, let me write it here. You can see from this picture here, let me erase this part, yeah? This is a symmetric curve, yeah? We have a distribution, 
that is symmetric. Yeah. I repeat, we have a distribution that is symmetric. So therefore, the mid, the middle point here, the midpoint here is 10. That is why the expected value of t is 10. Okay. Maybe I should write the answer because the, the distribution is okay. Distribution is symmetric. Okay. It is symmetric. Therefore, we take the midpoint here between 0 and 20, the expected value of t is 10. 